distance and time. Good day students, welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you are going to learn how to calculate speed, distance, and time. Let us begin. Let's have our first example. A family traveled from Quezon City to Batanga City at an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour for a total of two hours. Now, how far did they travel? Here we are asked how far did they travel, which means we need to look for the distance. But what is distance? Distance is the total length between two positions. The units of measurement for distance can be kilometers, meter, centimeter, or millimeter. Now to solve for the distance, we just simply need to multiply the speed and the time. Now let's go back and solve our problem. Again, to solve for the distance, we need to multiply the speed and the time. Here in our problem, the speed is 60 kilometers per hour, while the time is 2 hours. Now, let us solve. We have 60 times 2, which is great job. It is 120. Now, what could be our unit of measurement? Here, we can already console the units of time, which is r, since r divided by r is 1. So, we can simply cancel this out. And that leaves us the unit kilometers. Therefore, they traveled 120 kilometers. Now let's have another example. Now let us calculate the distance that you will travel if you will drive for 3 hours at 70 kilometers per hour. Again, to solve for the distance, we are going to multiply the speed and the time. Here, the speed is 70 kilometers per hour, while the time is 3 hours. Now let us solve. Now let's multiply 70 and 3. And that is wonderful. It's 210. Now let's cancel the hours. And now our unit would be kilometers. Therefore, the distance will be 210 kilometers. Great job. Now let's go to our next problem. A car travels 150 kilometers in 3 hours. Find the speed of the car. This time, we are looking for the speed. Now, what is speed? Speed is a scalar quantity that refers to how fast an object is moving. For example, we have 55 kilometers per hour. The units of measurement for speed are kilometer per hour, meter per second, centimeter per second, or millimeter per second. Now to solve for the speed, we just simply need to divide the distance by the time. Now, let's try to solve our problem. Again, to solve for the speed, we are just simply going to divide distance by the time. Here in our problem, the distance is Great job, 150 kilometers. While well, the time is 3 hours. Now let us solve. 150 divided by 3. Wonderful, it is 50. And the unit of measurement would be kilometer per hour. Therefore, the car travels 50 kilometers per hour. Now let's have another example. Find the speed when the distance is 280 kilometers and the time is 4 hours. Again, to solve for the speed, we are going to divide the distance by the time. Here in a given problem, the distance is 280 kilometers and the time is 4 hours. Now let us solve. 280 divided by 4 is wonderful. It is 70. 
So that will be 70 kilometers per hour. Now let's go to our next problem. A bus traveled 252 kilometers at 72 kilometers per hour. Now how many hours did it travel? This time we are looking for the time. But what is time? Time is the measurement that tells the duration of an event or how long does it take. For example, we have 4 hours. The units of measurement for the time can be hour, minute, or second. Now to solve for the time, we just simply going to divide the distance by the speed. Now let's go and solve our problem. Again, to solve for the time, we are just simply going to divide distance by the speed. Here in our problem, the distance is wonderful. It's 252 kilometers. And the speed is 72 kilometers per hour. Now let us solve. 252 divided by 72 is awesome. It's 3.5. Now, since we have two units of kilometer here, we can simply cancel this out because kilometer divided by kilometer is one. That remains our unit, which is hours. Therefore, the bus traveled for 3.5 or three and a half hours. Wonderful. Now, let's go to our last example. How long does it take to travel 180 kilometers at 45 kilometers per hour. This time, we need to solve for the time. Again, to solve for the time, we just simply need to divide distance by the speed. Here, the distance is 180 kilometers, while the speed is 45 kilometers per hour. Now, let us solve. 180 divided by 45 is... Great job! It is 4. Now let us cancel the kilometers and our unit would be hours. This means that it takes 4 hours to travel 180 kilometers. Wonderful! Here you go student! You made it this far. Now here are the things that you learned today.